Mrs. Maloney here with one of Bridget's favorite books, actually. If you are in my classroom and you remember reading Animalia um, during our poetry unit a few weeks back, this is by the same author, Graham Bass. It's called The Water Hole, and it's actually a counting book, but it has really cool illustrations, and it's a super fun read. So let's get started. One, one rhino drinking at the water hole. Snort, splash. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so look, the author has put the words in quotation marks, remember? Ch -ch quotation marks, the words that a character says are surrounded by them, but then in parentheses, underneath snort, splash, it says what the words or what the sounds really mean. attention to the size of this water hole. Two tigers laughing at the water hole. Goodness gracious, how very delectable. Three toucans squawking around the water hole. Time, fellas, drink up. But something was happening. Do you notice anything happening? Pay attention. Four snow leopards gazing at the water hole. Hmm, we must be careful, brothers. The pool was getting smaller. Five moose wallowing in the water hole. Mom, Hey, get your hoof out of my ear. And Six catfish floundering in the water hole. Blub, 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 blub. Blub, 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 and smaller. Hey, by the way, there are some fun amphibians on each of these pages. Have you noticed them? And they're dressed in these funny swimsuits. Seven pandas sipping at the water hole. Tsk, tsk, tsk. After you. No, 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 I insist. Cracks me up. He has glasses on. Eight ladybugs meeting by the water hole. Bzz. So, in conclusion, ladies and gentle bugs, I propose we establish a subcommittee to report on the water level crisis before the end of the fiscal year. All in favor, say. Bzz. Who knew ladybugs were so smart? Have you noticed the change yet? Nine tortoises lumbering around the water hole. Scrumph, scrumph, scrumph. Okay, which of you wise guys hit all the water? Ten kangaroos looking at the water hole. There was nothing to say. The water was all gone. Do you notice how the verbs on each page are describing the way that the animals are drinking up the water? All until the last couple of pages it changed a little bit. The ladybugs, here I'll go back a bit. Most of them are talking about like how they drank or lapped 
at the water hole or well, I guess they're squawking. So now they're looking at the water hole. And all the animals went away. Look closely. I don't see our amphibian friends anymore, but do you see anything unique about this deserted space? There's some hidden animals in there. Then a shower, but then a shadow fell across the sun. Clouds began to gather. A single drop of rain fell. It rained and rained and rained. And all the animals came back. Ula! Oh yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> Yippee! And then this page is kind of cool. It counts back one to ten and it shows you the name of the different region or area or country or continent that those scenes were from. So one says Africa, two India, three South America, four Himalayas, five North America, six rivers and streams, seven China, eight Europe, nine Galapagos Islands, ten Australia. That's kind of cool. All right. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this book. Totally different kind of read. Um, I really hope you enjoyed looking at the pictures and thinking about what an amazing author and illustrator um, Graham Bass is. And until next time, I hope you're staying healthy and enjoying time with family. Miss you.